Another type would be an expanding type or hollow point ammunition. You notice that the jacket has an opening in the front and that facilitates the bullet to open and not over penetrate. Hello everyone, I'm Jerry Mitchellark and I'm here with Smith & Wesson today and this is another Gun Smarts video on ammunition types. So when you go to ammunition there's going to be two types guys. There's going to be rimfire and centerfire. So the rimfire of course means that anywhere on the rim where it's struck with the firing pin it's going to fire the cartridge. This has been around for a long time and then it evolved into a centerfire round where the priming compound and the primer itself is in the center of the cartridge. So then when you go from center fire, there's two types of center fire ammunition. There's going to be a rim and a rimless cartridge. So most all revolvers will use a rim cartridge. You notice on the back of the cartridge where the primer is, is there's a rim available to headspace and also extract it. And a true rimless cartridge is made that way to function well in semi-automatic platforms. So when you stack them into a magazine, the rims will not hook on each other and cause malfunctions in the magazine. The other feature that you see on all ammunition is the bullet type itself and there's basically two types of bullets. Either it's going to be hollow point or it's going to be a full metal jacket type of ammunition. And a full metal jacket, when they say that term, it means the front of the bullet itself has the metal jacket over it. It can be also referred to as a ball round, 45 ball, 9 millimeter ball, 308 ball. And what they, re what they refer to is that, of course, the point of the bullet is covered with the bullet jacket itself. And the other type would be an expanding type or hollow point ammunition. You notice that the jacket has an opening in the front and that facilitates the bullet to open and not over penetrate. Hey guys, we're going to move into rifle cartridges and you're going to notice the bullet types there are very apparent again. Full metal jacket, good practice ammunition, good plinking ammunition, and then of course the, of course, the hollow point or the soft point bullet is used for applications where you don't want over penetration. And if you look at the cartridge itself, you know it has like a bottleneck feature to the neck itself that holds the bullet. And that's where the cartridge actually headspace. And you notice it has a true rim, rimless body to it, also to make it stack in a magazine and feed very reliable. So for this cartridge to enter the chamber and, and headspace correctly, it headspaces on the neck of the cartridge and not on the rim. Okay, what we're going to talk about next, guys, is full metal jacket and hollow point ammunition and also changing bullet weights per caliber and how it affects point of aim, point of impact. So if you shoot a standard 9mm round, say a 115 grain full metal jacket, and then you want to carry, say, a 147 grain hollow point, you have to realize that different weight to bullet is going to change the point of aim, point of impact. And the bullets are actually weighed in grains, and the heavier the grain weight, say 147, is heavier than a 115 and there's 7,000 grains in a pound so that kind of gives you a concept of your bullet weight. But if you're going to change ammunition, if you're going to change from a full metal jacket that you recreational shoot with to a hollow point, I would suggest that you shoot maybe 100 rounds of your hollow point ammunition to make sure it's going to look where the gun's looking and it's going to function 100% of the time. Okay guys, I hope you learned something about ammunition today and I'd appreciate it if you would like and subscribe.